Okay, welcome back to another episode of my Brandenburg Let's Play, guys, where we are now with the tag Prussia, and, uh, as, uh, you could say things, shit has really hit the fan, guys, here in, uh, in Prussia. I've, uh, took a bit of a break since my last episode, and, um, yeah, I've been, I've been dreading dreading f continuing this and uh, I say dreading not in the sense that um, well it, it's become a bit chorish to manage all these dribbles but not it's not really that it's just the dreading the thought that after all this time we may have uh, failed in the goal uh, but we're not going to give up just yet are we let's keep on going so I want to make sure I'm uh, aware of everything that's going on we got some some units here, and I should mobilize them. Try to, um... Okay. If we add these, we should be able to stabilize them for now. I'm gonna basically, uh, try to do this everywhere, make my, uh, trading company, and then, um... We'll come back and convert them once the rest of our land has been converted. But this area looks pretty stable. Let's take free up the stack, hit that up, and then come up uh, to fight more rebels. That should do some work for us. So that's the top one. We got these guys. And these guys. These guys. He's sieging. And then these guys. And I'm trying to reinforce as we go. As well as put a few units around just to siege back these provinces. Um, so it's not really, in my opinion, it's not the rebels that are the major concern. As it is the Diplo situation. Still losing four Diplo a month. And I really hate our ruler, guys. My goodness. This 2 one, one is, it's the real doomsday. <clears throat> we would have been okay, like, obviously not in a, the ideal spot to be way over our Diplo relations. But, um, the fact that we have such a bad ruler is, is what is really, it's like, it's like the nail in our coffin, you know, it's really, really grim. One Diplo per month. And, uh, we're losing four Diplo a month. And we're sitting at negative, um, just about to be negative 150, which means, I mean, yeah, like I said, I've been dreading it a little bit. I hate the thought that this is not recoverable, but what I can say for sure is all we need to form Germany is Augsburg. And we are going to be able to at least cancel, we'll be able to get positive prestige before the end of the game. You know, easily, I would suggest. So it's going to take one truce break war against uh, Austria, or who knows, we might even have time. We'll see. But it's only going to take one war against Austria to actually form Germany. So worst case scenario, we'll be doing that. But uh, that's pretty unsatisfactory, you know. It's a bit of an epic fail, in my opinion. Uh, but it is what it is. We've come all this way, so there's no sense in uh, giving up now or uh, not doing the best we can, you know. So we'll see just how well we can do exactly. For sure, we've still got almost 300 available mercenaries. And we got a ton of money. We all, all of our uh, overseas colonies are loyal to us, and they're beginning to give us treasure fleets as well. Um, so, and we have fifty-five thousand ducats saved up. So we certainly are doing well on the uh, economic point of view. Which, therefore, I should be going down to Serbia. I got to remember that. Therefore. Uh, we should be okay. We should be okay from the rebels, but like I said, that's not the issue. That's not the primary concern. 
Uh, we desperately need some prestige, is what we really need. Somebody mentioned that finishing colonies gives you a little bit of prestige. I think I just started another colony, right? Yeah. Yep. We're not going to finish a colony any time soon, un unfortunately. These Catholic Zealots are another concern as well, dude. Damn it. I'm desperately going for those Serbians, though. I might f take these guys all the way up to the uh, Baltic Sea, up near our capital. And uh, they might be the dudes who ultimately um, deal with those religious zealots. They might get on another province by the time I get up there. I don't know. Now, I was going down to Serbia because uh, the Serbians have been progressing well. And soon we might get a warning. We can barely escape unscathed there. Now that's a fort level 2. We only need 6k to get rid of that. Yeah, so I, 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 it was not my goal. It was not my goal to have this, you know, become the episode's is uh this is very tedious to play and probably quite tedious to watch so i'm sorry for that this should flip back uh but it is what it is you know i sympathize with people who don't want to watch this but just be grateful you don't have to play it i suppose it's yeah there we go 90 ducats um from that uh one treasure ship <coughs> excuse me um, it's got to be done. It's got to be done. Let's finish this campaign off, uh, the, to the best of my ability. No, no quitting, no surrendering. We're getting, uh, even with the unrest advisor, we could flip it out for prestige. We're getting six prestige a year. Oh, lost battle somewhere. I'm going to uh, go into Tab while they're in the mountains. That will be a really easy <clears throat> victory, I suggest. And this is 6,000 there, so a Fort Level 2 should uh, siege back in no time. <clears throat> My throat is not perfectly clear. Everything going wrong today, boys. Everything going wrong. But we shall recover. Here we go. Who's this? Who who is it? Spanish separatists. Oh my goodness. We don't have the cannons here. Um, I could merc up cannons, and I think I have to. I think I have to. Now, I'm not sure, have we stood on this province? I'm not sure if the, the progress will slow down if we, uh, begin sieging the province. Uh, it's going to be a race against time. I've got... These guys shouldn't take too long to get up here. Man, Toledo's making me nervous, dude. Make sure we got our best, best sieging stack, general. Going in there. Another fort level two. Oh, 
Arabia is looking good, which is good. The coasts are all looking good. The islands are all looking good. I think we're pulling ahead of it, you know? It's just Europe. And unfortunately, it doesn't tell you which rebels. <laughs> this mechanic isn't that thought out in the sense that when you do have a uh, absolute Croatia. Okay. Let's make sure to go straight for Croatia. Serbia, we're going there. Bulgaria. All right. It doesn't tell you uh, which rebels are uh, close to filling the demand. So Bulgaria, we, let's go there as um, we, we don't even need any forts. <clears throat> Yeah, telling you which rebels are close or not is not that much of an issue unless you just have a massive amount of unrest. Uh, then it does become an issue, it seems. Okay, this... Uh, it's mostly infantry. I'm going to consolidate that. Send a cannon over here. Um, must kill everybody. That's all we want to do is kill everybody. I guess we're going to find out shortly if this uh, is a complete fail, you know. Because now I'm really, the, the pressure's on and I'm trying to defeat the rebels which are close to enforcing their demands so therefore if they uh, we can really tell if we're ahead or behind the game you know <clears throat> okay let's use a siege 2 general because if they're successful it feels bad man This, this stack can come march up here. More units heading towards Europe to, to reinforce this full-blown apocalypse. Uh, same thing for these guys, I guess. Soon enough. A lot of uh, rebels walking around into enemy territory every now and then. Every now and then walking into enemy territory. Lol. I'd love to hit up these Transylvanians while they're in the mountains. Uh, I wonder if we have time. Croatia's... I think we can actually delay Croatia just by sieging these two provinces up. Uh, I'm going to going to rush up here to the mountains might be risky but it's a good time to take them out and not have to siege back that fort okay so it's disappeared the close to fulfilling the demands has disappeared so thank goodness for that the spanish are not going to defect as we're now sitting on his fort thank goodness for that makes me feel a lot better and we know anybody else, the Bulgarians who were close, and now uh, put back. But I, I should uh, for sure be wary of the Serbians still and the Croatians. So I'm going to really try to clean up this Baltic region, Balkan region. Not Baltic. And uh, these dudes are as good as dead and the Spanish have been taken care of why don't we free up these infantry while our cannons just sit on Toledo free up the infantry to go fight in Italy in France etc okay smashing these guys so it will it will warn us once again when uh when some rebels are close to enforcing their demands and then we can really focus those guys out looks like we're doing Definitely keeping ahead of the rebels uh, as our diplomacy disappears day by day. Feels bad, man. 
Um, I guess really hoping for our queen to pass away. If we had an heir, you know, we could abdicate, but he would have to have be of age and we don't even have an heir. So it's a really, 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 really bad spot to be in. Coring up those few provinces is going to help with our unrest a little bit in areas where, you know, they're revolting, but not to such an extreme degree. Just a little bit of revolting action going on. It's all about that infantry that we keep losing just from taking so many battles. That's why I'm obviously focusing on the mercenaries primarily. Um, so many units, oh my goodness. Okay. Liberal desire is obviously another concern. And we're hoping that, uh, as we can't cancel subjects, we could, uh, kind of get on top of that. And, uh, definitely a Diplo Rep advisor would help. But I think improved relations is more important f for now. <clears throat> to max relations as uh, they're really angry with us for annexing subjects as part of the reason that they're not that they do have uh, desire <clears throat> as well as every other reason in the world I had some coffee and it's really um, made my sort of throat coffee it's made my, th my, th my throat coffee. Did you get it? Yeah, so I'm sorry for that. Let's go deal with these perm permanians. The bastards. Um, and I'm about to take the Serbians out who are standing in the mountains. But luckily we have Prussian Space Marines, which we're in uh, big need of attacking dudes in the mountains. It's kind of annoying because I really kind of want time to just continue. You know, so that we can, you know, maybe get an event for some prestige if we're lucky. Uh, and, and we get prestige over time. I kind of want to just rush ahead a little bit here to just see if we are in a kind of a recoverable spot. Maybe I'll, we get a bit an heir or a ruler rather. You know, I think if she dies right now, we're either going to get our queen or some illegitimate guy. But re-rolling the stats would probably be worth it at this stage. Even if you have bad legitimacy. Uh, but I can't rush ahead because um, we've just got so much to do. So many rebels to manage. Uh, instead it's grinding along. Oh, please, uh, Diplo. Got 10 admin there. Uh, time's going really slowly because I'm trying to micromanage everything. So it's pretty, pretty feels bad, sad, bad, man kind of uh, time it's not feel so so good could feel better could feel better indeed just about ready to go here cleaning up more rebels now I wonder if like we will uh, begin to experience revolts in regions that we cleared up already um, again by the time we've cleared up the rebels do you know what I mean that would be really awkward if it's just like an infinite cycle our religious unity is improving slowly obviously the the provinces which are our actual religion are not going to revolt. Um, so that would be nice to see if we could actually convert entire sort of regions.
but even uh, converting like one or two provinces in the region will of course reduce the revolt size. <laughs> oh my god, are you serious? Well, the this isn't the worst thing in the world because we're we're not annexing our subjects anyway. I can't spend the diplo that we don't have. I'm gonna do that. It's not the worst thing in the world. Um, the diplo reputation sucks. Badly. But, yeah, for five years. We'll see where we're at in five years. So apparently you get a bad event if all your subjects are disloyal, eh? I assume that's why that happened, disloyal subjects, because our subjects are disloyal. Okay, so at the moment we only have this guy, really, and uh, these two, which are actually fighting. So, trying to keep a kind of a idea of how many stacks we have fighting and how many are resieging. Because I certainly want to continue fighting, 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 if possible. But other areas, I feel like it's pragmatic to just siege up while we're there. And uh, no rebel factions close to enforcing its demands, thankfully. At least according to this, but... Looks like the Polish, the Polish are doing well. And these guys here... They can be taken care of, I think, just by a rebel resieging the land. Think for, oh, we got a fort there, though. God dang it. I will take this stack to uh, go deal with the fort. Um, <clears throat> thankfully, the Ottomans cleared them up for us. As they walked into the Ottoman lands territory. Uh, probably this big stack I'll take over to Poland. Perm has no fort here, so let's uh, kind of have a unit walking around, sieging the land back. Um, hire some mercenaries to be there waiting for us. Yeah, this guy can uh, siege Perm back one by one. There's no forts there. I'll, I'll do some battling of some rebels out here and then walk back as well. And then these dudes will... I'll walk down into Italy, actually with these guys because uh, looks like there's just one rebel stack in Italy will take that out or free them up as well and uh, yeah I'll just oh have they finished the siege there nice okay very good in that case even though there's hardly any infantry here I'll try to make more infantry I'll bring these guys along to Italy and they can do some some resieging uh, these dudes can come over to uh, defend our capital in that case. And uh, they're, they're near the Polish as well. Fantastic. This six, I'll put on that fort out there, which is for level two. No, no, no. Those units can stay there in Muscovy. Need reinforcements. That guy's generalless. Oh well. I'll have to do. Um, yeah, so uh, sorry again guys for uh, this being the entire episode this is uh, pretty much what I expected and the reason I haven't been really feeling that enthusiastic about these last uh, recording this uh, last session or two that it takes before the end of the game um, really hoping that something happened you know some luck or something because at this rate it's going to take five years to be able to cancel our, our uh, thing with uh, Austria but come to think of it we can declare war on him Say what? 
Is it because he has liberty desire? I guess you can declare war on your subject if they have liberty desire. Is that... Yeah. Because usually it would say you can't own a vessel. Huh. 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 Okay. It's... So, um, obviously that's kind of somewhat trivial. Like, I would consider that to be trivia, if you feel me. Uh, but it's something I, I didn't really realize was the case, because I've never been in a situation like this. Usually, when I have subjects, I try to stabilize them. But it, it seems that we don't need to cancel him as a subject to declare war on him, because he's got liberty desire. So it's kind of like a you can do a suicidal in terms of your stability, etc. War into your own subject in order to try and stabilize them. And uh, that might be exactly what we do. In that case, I don't need to wait for the prestige. We can take what's uh, required to form Germany, but I, I can also eliminate, I imagine, right? We can annex the, all of these other subjects. <gasps> Can somebody say solution? Um, if we separate piece one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, guys, we're gonna be making positive diplo. Woohoo! So unfortunately, I think we're gonna <coughs> uh, lose our progression of integrating Austria, which means what's, whatever is left of him will not, you know, be integrated. Um, <coughs> sorry for clearing my throat and coughing, guys. I sorry for that. Um. It's totally the route that we will take. Now the question is, can we handle all of these guys in a clean, decisive war? <gasps> Vienna doesn't have a fort! Oh my beautiful goodness! Oh my beautiful goodness! Why, why does it not have a fort? I don't know, but that's brilliant, because we can siege it up so quickly. And it's capital. Oh my god, instead of these fort level 8s. Life's good, man. Life's good, man. Feels good, man. Um... I'm going to have to wrap up the episode here shortly, guys, but what I want to say is uh, we have a freaking solution, dude. My goodness. Beautiful. I mean, it's going to allow us to do it, right? We can just declare. I can annex all of these guys who are our own subjects, eliminating them. Um, probably from this war we'll get quite some prestige, which means we can cancel like another subject afterwards. Uh, going to take Osberg. It's just going to be a matter of coring it up, and we will finally have formed Germany. And, uh, yeah. Uh, obviously, we've got a lot of rebels, which are really concerning me, and that's the reason that I haven't already declared this war. Um, I will try to make my way over with, with quite some units, but also have one or two stacks to be uh, to continue re-sieging land, because we have to stay on top of the rebels. But um, I'm going to deal with these guys before they convert, get on our capital, these religious zealots. I mean, obviously we can't have the Catholic zealots. Uh, I guess technically we could, but I, I don't want them to, um, you know, take my capital. Um, so I'm going to try to make my way closer and closer with these sort of uh, units oh. that are trying to do uh, rebel cleanup duty. To where we can take a really decisive victory over their alliance. And I suppose that will be next episode. Um, yeah, we're doing well. The sooner we declare this man, the better. Because we will, we should lose these guys, all of these guys as subjects. And be making a little bit of Diplo back. Uh, which will feel fantastic. So badly we need that. Um, I think... My uh, faith and confidence has returned a little bit, if you feel me. I feel a little bit invigorated. Life's not so bad. It's all good in the hood. Uh, still going to be a lot, uh, quite tedious. And we do have to defeat them in a war. Obviously, we've got a lot of advantages like our general, etc. I'm going to tech up even inefficiently to declare that war on Austria. He's ahead of us in tech. Um, not the ideal run, the, like, I'm going to talk about that in my final sort of recap of the, the series, uh, episode. 
but I'm feeling good, feeling better, and I'm gonna leave it there, I suppose, on a... Dude, what the hell? Why is this guy gunning it for me here? We're in the mountains, so I'm gonna try and fight that, but I'm not sure that we're gonna be able to win it. Uh, try to reinforce him. Uh, yeah, gonna be able to end on a, a much better note here, guys. I don't feel like uh, it's so so grim, such a grim, pathetic place to finish off, because I am at least gonna be able to achieve what we wanted to achieve when I, I set this off, the series. And um, it's a pretty... <laughs> pretty hilarious route of getting there in the end i would say and by hilarious i mean kind of uh, bad but there we go next episode i'm, I'm trying to head towards these uh, polish polish separatists because they're close and anything else that is close for that matter uh, i'm trying to slow the progression we should be fine on these rebels because i got a stack coming to siege that up make my way you know, deal with everything around Germany and then declare the war on Germany at the same time. Uh, yeah, and as soon as these we lose these guys as subjects, I imagine our liberty desire situation will be dramatically improved. So why don't we improve relations with guys like uh, Silesia and, uh, you know, the actually... Uh... Oh, is Great Britain no longer liberty desire? I was going to say Great Britain is not. Ooh, for some reason we no longer have Louis with Great Britain, which is really good. Because we can at least integrate him. As long as we had the Diplo points available. And I'm hoping that the Diplo points situation will be able to recover as soon as we declare this war. We'll be at least making some. And uh, soon more and more and more. I'm hoping once we piece these guys out, we have more uh, uh, prestige to actually cancel other subjects as well. Like one promise miners or whatever. Uh, yeah, so I guess that's it guys. Thank you very much for watching. Just quickly take out these guys on our capital. And uh, it is what it is. It's pretty self-explanatory what's going on. It's just happening really quite slowly because... Uh, just trying to keep my eye on everything. Excellent. So, are we losing in Berlin? Dude, I need to keep on hiring mercenaries. Keep on hiring mercenaries. I guess I could make like a template. The reason I haven't been making templates is because they're going to walk into all the hostile units that are everywhere while they try to group up. Like, cause there's just so many. Thank goodness we finally sieged that up. So I'm going to make my way up to Austria, this dude as well. I've been trying to end the episode, but there's just so much going on. Uh, I will end it once we are victorious here in Berlin. Keep hiring reinforcements. Thank goodness for mercenaries, you know. More rebels feels bad, man. I've got to declare this war like ASAP, dude. Screw the rebels. Screw the rebels, I say. Screw the rebels, I say. They were costing us too much Diplo. Uh, yeah, I'm going to declare the war. I'm going to declare the war. That's what we're going to do. So that's going to be the first thing. What happens next episode, guys? We're in well enough shape, right? The thing is, what I'm going to do is go around in separate piece. These guys, especially anybody who doesn't have a fort, is going to be really easily separate peaceable. Um, um, they pretty much all have forts. What a shame. Uh, but the thing is, uh, it should be really quite easy to take Olsberg if we just jump onto his capital here. It should be pretty much GG. We can make his capital the war goal as well. Um, cool. So that's going to be the next episode. Feeling a lot better about this campaign now. And uh, I hope you guys stick around to see the next episode. And if everything works out well. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time.